that bitch once again missed the flight and was refusing to go home. And I'm like, bitch, you're not about to be in my house by, by yourself while I'm not home. Bitch, go home. And so with that being said, the bitch ended up making me some tea, but she used to make me tea every day. I'm not going to lie. She used to be cooking for everybody over here, making tea and all kind of shit. And then out of, out of all of the time she gave me tea, she was like, do you want to try some mushroom tea? And I was like, yeah. But I didn't know it had real mushrooms in it, so it fucked me up. Boom. I had the experience with her where I thought, you know, to me, I was hallucinating or whatever, but I see the bitch shape shift to a reptilian. I seen that shit go through the ceiling. We have an energy where we have individuals who don't know the difference of an archetype and a spirit because they're telling you that Orishas are spirits, but they're fucking archetypes. They're purposely becoming vegan and all this just so they can absorb and be a, basically a portal or a host to these energies, right? But they also don't tell you that we have druid magic, which are gypsies. That's the people who travel all around Africa doing magic, which leads into Egypt, which are what they call your jesters, as they talk about the ones doing magic and more. But then they don't tell you that your tribal and village and so on doing more ancestral magic, which is different from the druid magic of gypsy work. Because your druid magic, gypsy work, ties back into the story you hear of Joseph and more. But the tribal ancestral work will connect into your ancestors who call on the ancestors to do work. Then you have another energy, which, which is your magical science type of energy, where they do the work of using science, mathematics, medicine, which also incorporates root work. But in America, it is considered still Druid energy because it ties back into hoodoo or Afro-hoodooism, or even voodooism, right? But you just get these, these small point of views telling you what it is and what it ain't because they need to put you under ritual. They need you to follow the line, follow the leader. Right? So we have the mass of blacks who have lost the word because the word lives in them, which the word is the spirit. Right? Right? So you get under the fleshly energy that shows you the razzmatazz and the facades. But you can't disagree with them because what it is is what it ain't. What it ain't is what it is. You oh, y'all heard about that damn nigga that his name is that damn um, nature boy and with that whole uh, reality TV that he putting on and he gay and all that shit and he don't know if he's gay he don't know if he like trans he don't know if he like women he beat niggas asses and shit he's starving the fuck out of niggas you see that they malnourished and need to eat the women up there doing this and doing that then the nigga was acting all crazy on on the damn youtube or whatever he the fuck he was doing as soon as the police come knocking at that door then that nigga just popped up out of that shit he's part of that cult too with young Pharaoh, Tasha K, all these niggas, the trafficking shit, they all in it together. Atlanta, y'all better be careful. Y'all better be careful because the bottom line is that the Antichrist, that's where the Antichrist is, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It lives right there in Atlanta. Something else is going to happen. There's too many niggas in one place and they got all you niggas in one place. And there's a lot of shit going on there that's very interesting. I'm just talking. Y'all heard about that damn nigga that his name is that damn um, nature boy and with that whole uh, reality TV that he putting on and he gay and all that shit and he don't know if he's gay he don't know if he like trans he don't know if he like women he beat niggas asses and shit he's starving the fuck out of niggas you see that they malnourished and need to eat the women up there doing this and doing that 
then the nigga was acting all crazy on on the damn youtube or whatever he the fuck he was doing as soon as the police come knocking at that door then that nigga just popped up out of that shit he's part of that cult too with young pharaoh tasha k all these niggas the trafficking shit they all in it together Atlanta, y'all better be careful. Y'all better be careful because the bottom line is that the Antichrist, that's where the Antichrist is, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It lives right there in Atlanta. Something else is going to happen. There's too many niggas in one place and they got all you niggas in one place. And there's a lot of shit going on there that's very interesting. I'm just talking. If you haven't tapped in, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and tap in. I need you to tap, tap, tap in to what the fuck news because I bring you news that make you go, what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> What the fuck? Just because there's some bullshit, this is what bosses does. I'm a boss.